I believe in a culture of life. Uh, I was proud to sign the heartbeat bill. Her son took one Percocet that was laced with fentanyl, immediately died. That is happening all across this country because of the poison that they are bringing in. So as president, would I use force? Would I treat them as foreign terrorist organizations? You're darn right I would. All right, Ron DeSantis last night from the debate. He it was sort of the number one guy on that stage without Donald Trump, uh, polling the best beside the Donald Trump. So a lot of people thought he would be the target, if not the pinata, among uh, some of his challengers. It ended up that Vivek Ramaswamy got, got that honor, if you can call it that. But again, uh, that depends uh, on, on how you watch it and, and, and where you thought this whole thing went down. Hal Lambert is the uh, big backer of, Don, uh, of Ron DeSantis, a, a big donor to him early on before anyone was, Point Bridge Capital founder and CEO. Um, Hal, good to have you. I guess you could say your guy survived last night. Um, is that enough for the time being? Oh, I think he did extremely well. I think one of the key takeaways is he was the winner of the debate, and he was able to get his message out and, and talk about things to millions of people that have never heard him speak. Uh, I think, you know, talking about the fact that he's the only veteran uh, on the stage and understands what it's like to serve overseas, he, he volunteered and went into the Navy, uh, and, and his message on the economy and the border. Uh, and I think the other clear takeaway last night is that, you know, based on what Vivek said, he should drop out of the debate or drop out of the campaign immediately uh, based on one of the things he said last night. Which is? <laughs> well, he said that Donald Trump was the greatest president of the 21st century. And so if that's if he believes that, then why is he running? Why, why doesn't he drop out and endorse Trump? Or does he believe Trump is going to jail? And so therefore, he's going to stay in and run. Or maybe box number three is that, you know, at 38 years old, uh, with less governing experience than the average city councilman, uh, he thinks he would be better than the greatest president of the 21st century. Or he's just a shill for Trump. So uh, one of those things needs to be asked of him, but I, I don't know why he's in the race if he thinks that Donald Trump was the greatest president of the 21st century. Well, something's working for Vivek, if that's the case, though, Hal, no matter what you think of him, because uh, he, obviously he's threading the needle to, to keep those uh, Trump supporters happy and not get them booing at him and all of that, such as Chris Christie experience. But you're quite right in this regard. Uh, Donald Trump liked what he was saying, especially the best president of the last century. Uh, and, and, and tweeted out, I, I don't think you tweet out, but a truth social, you get the word out that you like what he said. I'm just wondering where you see this going now as the race ensues. Well, I mean, it's still a two-person race. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, Donald Trump is, you know, he's obviously getting booked today. That'll be $500 million of, of earned media that he'll get from that. Uh, so I don't anticipate big jumps or movements in the polling. Uh, but that's not what we're looking at. I mean, we're again, we're focused on Iowa and New Hampshire. We're not focused on national polls. Governor DeSantis has the right message. He's doing extremely well. I think he did well last night. He didn't get involved in the bickering on stage. Uh, and so I think for, at the end of the day, you're, you're not going to see big movements in polls here. Uh, I don't anticipate that at all. We're going to just stick with exactly what's going on in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. And I think you're going to see movement over the next six months all towards Go Governor DeSantis. Uh, the polling there for him looks great. He's got the highest favorability rating of any of the candidates, even with millions of dollars spent against him. So I, I think that's what you're going to see. You know, he's still behind by a lot, Hal, in all the states you mentioned. Not as much as when you look at it nationally. I get your point. But as a money guy and trying to entice other money guys, does it give them pause? We're told that given the experience early in the campaign where they went through a lot of dough and apparently to little, little avail, um, that they're stumbling and they're stumbling out the gate and it's not doing much to encourage more money coming into the gate. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing that at all. Actually, we, the fundraising's been going extremely well. Uh, you're going to see good numbers at the end of this quarter, uh, I think better than any other candidate. Uh, it, and the summer months are harder, right? The summer months yeah. are slower for fundraising historically for every candidate. But it's it's going extremely well. So we're not seeing that movement at all. Uh, it was, in fact, we're seeing uh, plenty of support from a donor standpoint uh, for Governor DeSantis. Because, again, there's only uh, two candidates that I think can be this nominee, and that's either Donald Trump or Governor DeSantis. And I think, let me add one other thing, Neil, for, based on last night. You know, there was a lot of bickering and fighting back and forth that Governor DeSantis didn't get involved with. But if, if 
Donald Trump were to happen to win this thing in the end. He's a one-term president, and we're going to be right back to the stage again with probably twice as many candidates fighting and bickering against each other, and we're going to have not the, the money's going to be spent not on trying to win Congress and other things. It's going to be right back to where we were last night four years from now. So that's another reason for people to think about on, as they're thinking about who they're going to vote for. We shall watch closely. Still have ways to go, to your point, Hal. Always good seeing you. Thank you very much.